Hi everyone, Steph here from Old Guy Melts Plastic back again with another From the Bench episode. So today we're going to have a look at the Big Tree Tech Pad 7. Now full disclosure, Gloria from Big Tree Tech's marketing team did send this Pad 7 to me um, fully loaded, I would say. It looks like it has all of the accessories um, and you might have to pay extra for them depending on which uh, package you buy from their website, so be careful of that. Um, so this Pad 7 came to me uh, at no charge, was sent to me at no charge, uh, with the understanding that I would record some content for it. And I'll be honest, at first I wasn't sure, given my Vorons that I have in play, uh, my Vorons already have displays and single board computers driving them, so I, I kind of wondered, you know, what I would use this for. And then I thought, well, hold on, I've got a test bench, and my test bench did already have a single board computer um, driving the test bench electronics, but it didn't have an LCD display. And so this kills two birds with one stone. Now, if you already have a printer with an integrated display and an integrated um, single board computer, then this might not really offer you much benefit. But if you're looking to convert, say, maybe a bed slinger printer, um, an Ender 3 or Ender 3 clone that isn't already running Clipper and you want to convert from Marlin to Clipper, this device gives you a very easy upgrade path to make that happen um, with just a little bit of firmware flashing on your MCUs and your printers. So for that reason, um, you know, people who are looking to maybe move to Clipper um, on their existing 3D printers that are running Marlin uh, might consider this as an attractive option for them to give them kind of an all-in-one package. You get a nice a colorful high resolution display it's 1024 by 7 six, six, sorry 1024 by 600 pixels um, it is a you know touch sensitive display uh, so yeah that would be one possible use of this but in my case um, I had a test bench that did not have a display an LCD display and I thought well here we go this is going to be my new test bench display when I want to run Clipper screen on the test bench. Uh, I have it hooked up today to a BTT SKR Pico that I extracted from my Voron 02 after I performed an MCU upgrade. And it is running um, with a CAN bus tool head. This is my Voron Stealth Burner tool head. Um, the tool head is equipped with the BTT Nomi display. Um, this tool head is actually fully active but I don't really have a bed. I don't have kinematics for it. The extruder itself, the extruder motor would work and I could push plastic through it and even heat up the hot end if I want. It's running a Revo hot end down below, um, but it would just end up you know, melting plastic onto this stand and that's not really useful for anyone. But just to show that you know, the tool head itself is fully functional um, and we have that connected via CAN bus uh, to the back of the Pad 7. So let's have a look at the back of the Pad 7 here and see what kind of ports we're given. Um, so as it says here, Big Tree Tech Pad 7, 1024 by 600 pixels, 7 inch diagonal display. Um, it comes with a, a AC-DC power adapter. It's a 12 volt, 2 amp power adapter. Um, they also include this little screw down terminal, which is goes to the power port. So I would imagine if you had a 12 volt power supply or the ability to step down your power supply to 12 volts using a buck converter or something similar, um, you could maybe you know wire this directly or power this directly from your printer uh, over 12 volts. So that would be maybe the use of this. It is it was included in my box. Um, I assume it comes with most of them, but again, you'll have to check with BTT on that to confirm. Um, we do have here. Uh, CAN H and L, so CAN bus uh, low and high. And this is an SPI port. Uh, the SPI port, in this case, uh, the my package came with a cable and this ADXL um, tool head board, which can mount on the back of a stepper motor. So it does this, uh, this whole pattern between the two screw holes uh, left and right here do fit across either a pancake stepper or the diagonal um, screws of a, um, a NEMA 17 stepper, for example. Uh, so you can use that on the back of a tool head if you have either a pancake or a NEMA 17 stepper, you can mount it directly to those, or you know build a device with that whole uh, spacing in order to mount it on the back of your tool head as needed. Um, and then if we look here on the sides, 
We do have on this side a 3.5 millimeter audio jack. Um, there is also a volume up and down button, so if you wanted to use this. Now my understanding is that the Pad 7 uh, could be equipped with a um, CM4, a Raspberry Pi CM4 module, if you a compute module 4, uh, if you wanted to. Um, this one came pre-installed with a CB1, a BTT CB1, and that's how I'm running it. Uh, but Big Tree Tech says that if you uh, install a Compute Module 4, you can actually use it as a 7-inch tablet running whatever you know desktop OS you want on, on your tablet. So um, I haven't tried that yet, but that's a possibility if that's one way you want to use this device. On the other side here, we have a USB-C, um, we have the uh, micro SD card reader and another USB-A port. So a total of three USB-A ports, one USB-C port, um, and yeah, a nice large seven inch display, diagonal display. Uh, there are these LED indicators at the top. Um, this is a light a room light meter measuring device, I guess, to increase or decrease the screen uh, brightness depending on the ambient uh, light in the room. And yeah, pretty interesting device. Now they've got um, a special build of Clipper in here where they've added in some audio um, feedback when you press the screen. So I'll give you an example of what that looks like. And please disregard my Discord uh, pings going on in the background, but listen for this. So they've um, basically patched, uh, I'm not sure if it's Clipper Screen or Moonraker, whichever whichever module is providing that audio feedback, it's it's uh, Big Tree Tech's custom version of it. Um, and so you can run with that if you like the audio. If you prefer to not have that audio feedback when you press the screen, you prefer for a silent operation, um, you can simply change the, uh, in moonraker.conf, you can change the repository that that uh, module is looking for and point it at the default um, original version or GitHub repository of that, that module and it will then no longer provide you the audio feedback. So that is configurable if you want to do that. I actually don't mind the audio feedback. I find it um, gives me an extra sense that, you know, hey, my press, my button press was actually took effect and did something. Um, so yeah, this is running Clipper screen and um, Pretty happy with it so far. Again, you know, maybe not so useful if you have an existing printer that already has a Raspberry Pi de like device, a single board computer running it, um, and you already have, you might already have a five inch or four inch or, you know, large display on your LCD display on your printer. But if you don't and you're looking to upgrade, um, this gives you everything you need in one. Um, and like I said, my package came with. The CB1, it came with the ADXL accelerometer. Um, I'm in North America, I'm in Canada, um, and the AC adapter came with um, a number of heads for different uh, international wall outlet um, connectors. So the three here, and then I've got the one that's already in the AC adapter that's for me here in North America. Um, so it, you know, it pretty much came with everything you need to get started. And uh, I probably recommend this device to people who are looking to migrate from Marlin to Clipper on their existing printers, if that's something you're thinking of. So um, not sure of the retail price, it'll vary by location. So check the BQ.equipment website if you want to find out more about the Big Tree Tech Pad 7. That's it for now. Thanks again for watching and let me know in the comments if you have any questions.